Hey, John Dillon here with a follow-up tutorial to our creating your own Photoshop template using grids and our EKG. When I completed that particular session, it occurred to me to kind of show you another step that you can do to easily change the color of a background. Now, because this is all done, we have quite a few different ways we can change colors. Now, of course, I can come in here, go down to the bottom layer here and change the background color. Since the background color really has no gradients to it, um, it really makes it easy to do. So I simply can come in here, for example, and let's say I want to change it to kind of a rich red. And I just go ahead and fill that. That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing this is, is using some assets, other assets within Photoshop. So I'm going to go above the, the EKG level here. And here's the logo, because if whatever we do is going to apply to the logo, we're going to do a few different things. First of all, we can come in here and we can use an adjustment layer. So I can come in here and choose, for example, hue and saturation. And I can bring this in here and I can apply a different color. So we'll just go ahead and pl play with the sliders here. So right here, already with the sliders, we're changing colors. And you come in and pick a color you want. So now some of these are pretty hideous, but you kind of get the idea. Now, if you don't want, for example, let's say you want this purple and the yellow lines being affected, just come down to say, okay. Now this is an adjustment layer. I can just take the yellow line, which is here and drag it up. There's some other things we can do as well, but that's probably the easiest. So that's one way of changing your color. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the eyeball off of the hue and saturation level. And let's add a layer. And I'm just gonna call this my color. And now if I wanted to, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this with red. And we're gonna change the blending mode. So come up here and start off with normal and go ahead and scroll through. You can see different effects as you go through the, the layer blending options. So here's dodge color with the blue. Let's go down a little further and we'll see the color here. Basically what we're looking for is color. And there it is. And again, if I want to adjust this, I can actually even bring down the color just a little bit here and get even a different option. So it's some different ways you can easily change colors of a background. The same thing goes here with the hue and saturation level. If I come in here and turn this back on, I can also adjust the layer on this as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Again, just another way, once you create a template, you can create a variety of colors based off the same theme very easily in Photoshop. Well, until the next time, hope you always find unique ways to make your presentations more editable to your audience. Take care.